So I just want to show you enterprise state roaming here with uh, Office 365. Now, what we've done here is we've logged into the admin console as um, a user with access, and we're going to go to the admin area. And then what we're going to do in the bottom left-hand corner here is we'll select our admin consoles and we'll go to the Azure Active Directory. Now, to do enterprise state roaming, we need to configure the back end first to uh, let the system know to roam uh, the user state. Now we do that by going into the Azure Active Directory and then selecting the devices. All right, you'll see that we already have one device here which is joined to our Azure Active Directory already and we need to go in here to device settings and then down the bottom here you'll see we have an option here called users may sync data and uh, app data across devices. If we have a look at the information for this we'll see that if we want to do selective users we need to have Azure AD Premium and without that we can only get the option to do all users. Now because this is Microsoft 365 Business which now includes that selective ability you see I could go into selective users I could choose a subset of users that I want to enable this for, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that set to all. And again, remember that if you do make any changes to um, save those options. So if we go back and look at all devices, we'll see that we do indeed have a single desktop here. Now that desktop is in fact, uh, basically a virtual machine that I have here. And imagine this is a user's desktop already logged in and active. So I will log in to uh, that environment and give you a look at what the desktop looks like. So you'll see that um, I have changed the wallpaper and I've set a number of other settings. Now the stuff that will actually roam is if we go into settings and we go into accounts, you'll see that the option down here for sync your settings, this is basically going to control what is going to synchronize with the enterprise state roaming. So it is somewhat like uh, the old roaming profiles on premises, but again, there is a smaller subset of what will actually sync. Now, the important thing is for this to actually happen, we're going to have to have a Windows 10 Pro machine connected to Azure AD, which we have here. And now we've logged in as a user to this environment. So we have an Azure Active Directory um, connected machine. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, basically go uh, to a completely new machine. I'm going to uh, power this on. So this machine uh, basically is currently standalone, not connected to anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, connect this firstly to uh, Azure AD uh, with the same user credentials. And then we're going to uh, switch accounts, log into um, the Azure AD environment for that user. And we should see that the, the desktop, the settings um, have been uh, basically roamed across. So I'm logging here as the uh, user for this workstation. So again, this local admin of the workstation, this is just going to log me in uh, to a standard desktop and then it's going to allow me uh, to join Azure AD. So this is a fairly standard process of joining up to uh, Azure AD. So while that's uh, currently spinning up, let's go back and remind ourselves of what the desktop looks like in the original machine. Okay, so again, what we've got here is the, uh, the standard desktop. So what I'm going to do here is so we can view this, let me just go in here and change the display setting somewhat to make it a bit easier to uh, view this all on the screen. So quickly change that, keep those changes. Okay, so what you'll see here is a standard desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this to uh, Azure AD. Now the way that I do that is I go into the user account, I'm gonna change the account settings. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically go to the option for access work or school. And then I'm gonna select the connect option and then I'm going to select the option to connect to Azure AD, which will appear at the uh, bottom of my options here. So I want to select this option here, join this device to Azure AD. So what I'm going to do here now is just log in as uh, our user. So again, we're just going to log in as Alex W, and then I'll have to uh, basically put in the password. And what's going to happen then in the background is this machine will be joined to uh, Azure AD. And then what I'm gonna do is switch out accounts and then hopefully we should see the same, uh, basically the same state be brought across from our area. So now you see that we want to confirm we join this organization, which I wanna do. So this is now adding it into uh, Azure AD for me. And then it will come back and give me a confirmation that that has all been done. 
and then I'm going to go in here and swap and log into that account. So you'll see here that we have confirmation that we've joined uh, this uh, Microsoft 365 uh, tenant. And what we need to do is go in and switch an account now. So what we're going to do is go done. You'll see here that we've got confirmation that's connected to Azure AD. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here, go into the identity again for the account, and you'll see that I now get an option to switch account. So I will now switch to the other user who is going to be our uh, Microsoft 365 user, Alex W, and put in the password. Okay, and this will now log us into this uh, new environment. All right, remember this will be the first time this user has logged into this machine, so it will need to set up a profile. There might be a short setup time while it does complete this uh, in the background. So again, you'll see that we'll go through a standard sort of uh, Windows 10 welcome and setting up, getting things ready for us. So I'll leave that uh, running here while we wait for that to be confirmed. Shouldn't take too long to set that profile up for this user. Now remember that this user is an Azure Active Directory user. It's basically uh, provisioning and uh, authorizing this from the cloud. That user is part of my uh, Microsoft 365 uh, tenant. So again, uh, we've been able to join this new machine to the Azure AD. And then once it's joined, we can then allow a user to log in. So again, you'll see here, if I look at this closely, carefully, when it uh, allows me to, I'll be able to go in and you'll be able to verify that indeed we have logged in as uh, Alex W and we are now in a state where this machine is uh, connected to Azure AD. And we just have to wait a moment for obviously the state to be pushed down. Now, those settings may take a little while to uh, synchronize, just depends on, again, the internet connectivity and when the policy does get refreshed. But you'll see here that we are logged in as Alex W. So if, let me go in here and just view the details of the account. All right, so we can confirm that we do indeed have uh, Alex logged in here. All right, and again, we still see the old wallpaper and there you saw that the wallpaper basically changed uh, right on time there. So if we now go and look at the original machine, sorry, if we now go and look at the original machine, so this is the original machine, this is now the new machine that we have logged into now. What can also be roamed is things like our um, some of our settings here in Edge and Internet Explorer. So if I go in and have a look at, for example, the favorites, and I also look at the a reading list here again those things will be brought down in time obviously into the uh, new environment so if we uh, run our edge browser and maybe go in and have a quick look and see whether those details have been brought down for us they again may take a little time period for it to uh, fully synchronize with this new environment so you can see as yet those uh, details haven't come down but like the wallpaper they will basically come down to this machine. So what we've done here is we've basically um, been able to take the settings from an existing machine, a user who is logged in to uh, Azure AD on a machine that is also connected to Azure AD. And we've also gone to the back end and then enabled enterprise state roaming. Okay, so if we go into our device settings, we've done that with a synchronization option down the bottom here and we're allowing the device to uh, synchronize the settings and the app data to other machines. And we are able to do that because the machine is Azure AD joined. So now you'll see here that we have two machines and these now correspond to the two virtual machines that we just added to allow this to be possible. So in essence, that's how easy it is to configure enterprise state roaming uh, with an Office 365 tenant. So thank you very much for watching the video.